You know how the um, third most uh, powerful person in our country is a um, dyed in the wool theocrat who um, not just is religious in, of himself, a, a fundamentalist, but believes that uh, should be the doctrine that runs the country. Um, and he's been a little bit quiet about it. Well, that guy was at the RNC uh, to give a speech. And in his attacks on uh, uh, Joe Biden lately, the issue has been about the teleprompter. Now, for some reason, Republicans are completely fixated on teleprompters. The big knock on uh, Barack Obama for them was that he was nothing without a teleprompter. This is their, well, they're going to say this about Kamala Harris. Yeah, they'll say it about her too. And, but, but, and they said it even, I think, about Hillary. The point is like when we were talking before the debate about Biden's, you know, the reports about his cognitive issues, and they were still saying the same stuff on right wing media, that was part of what colored maybe our skepticism about some of these claims because they use this teleprompter thing every time. Now, it's quite clear that Biden struggles enormously now to speak extemporaneously off a teleprompter. But he doesn't do so great on a teleprompter that's, either, to be honest with you. That's also true. But, but that's point, why but, we, but that's how long Republicans have been deploying it, even, with, even against the greatest orator that this country has seen in politics, like in both of our lifetimes, most likely. Obama? It doesn't make any sense. Here's Mike Johnson. <laughs> this is just two weeks ago. Unless the president is reading off a teleprompter, uh, I don't think he's capable of making these big decisions, and that is something that should alarm all of us, and it's something that we need to be talking about. I think people are... Ladies and gentlemen, it is now my honor to introduce the Attorney General, and there goes the teleprompter. <laughs> he just walks off stage. <laughs> He didn't know who he was introducing. And without the teleprompter, he couldn't even make that tiny little decision. He just ran away. And that's not the... Mike Johnson's cognitive decline. That's not the only issue with speeches that happen at the RNC because Ron Johnson accidentally read the wrong speech off the teleprompter. Do the pre-assassination Well, let's speech. get to that. Do we uh, Do we have his speech? The dumbest senator, okay. or actually second dumbest, because we now have Tommy, Tommy Tuberville. We also have John Fetterman. But oh, anyway, yeah. Well, well, but here is the, the whole idea with the Republican National Convention. It was about to, supposed to be about unity. And uh, now I don't even know if this is true or not. It's just the most pathetic excuse if it isn't. But here is uh, some of... Um, uh, Ron Johnson's unity speech. We're going to bring the country together after I've been shot. Go ahead, Ron. Take it away. Today's Democrat agenda, their policies are a clear and present danger to America, to our institutions, our values, and our people. Democrats have forgotten American families. They have abandoned the hardworking middle class. But with President Trump and Republicans, those forgotten Americans are forgotten no more. Okay, and uh, apparently he was supposed to do a different speech, uh, but like uh, Emma says, um, somebody loaded the wrong one into uh, the teleprompter. Here is um, His Amna Nawaz. She's from uh, where PBS. She? PBS. News. I asked Wisconsin Senator Ron Johnson about him calling Democratic policies a clear and present danger to the country while calling for unity. He says speech just delivered at RNC was not the one he intended to give. That prompter loaded the old version. The new one called for unity. These teleprompters are so prominently uh, featured in so many different issues. What do you do with the clear and present danger? Yeah, I mean, you fight. Uh I, I do, yeah, well, I mean, I like how now the Republicans have teleprompter issues. It's almost like the ghost of Hugo Chavez has now not just come into the voting machines to change all the totals for from Trump to Biden. They're, they've infected this other, this other technology here, the teleprompters. Hey, folks, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and check out our daily show. We do it every day at 12 p.m. Eastern for about two and a half hours. We even take phone calls. You should check that out.